welcome back to Cross Code. It's been a hot minute. I've probably forgotten how to play this game. But, uh, we'll see what happens. It's been a very, 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 very long week. Um, I was, uh, accomplishing, uh, this is... So, my scholars had an assessment called an individual oral commentary, and having to listen to what they want to say and, like, do is fine. It was just, it just requires so much thinking on my part, and when I tell you my brain has never been so tired before, my brain has never been so tired before. Like, I was just not prepared for that like it all. I see you're looking for a formidable punching force. I'm ready. Awesome. And it was just a lot for me. Just, just too much. How do I... Okay. I don't know how to do the thing that I need to do. But I'm, I was just so tired. And then a bunch of them would show up late and it would just throw off everything. Someone forgot to look at the schedule. So now I have to reschedule them, which is going to throw off my time and my planning periods. What's going to happen after school? But like, ain't nobody got time for that. <sighs> but you know, you got to be accommodating for children. Even when they're irresponsible. Tab skip. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm really, I'm really digging this game. I haven't, it's been a while since I, I don't remember how to do this, the special. Oh, it's space bar. Ha 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 ha. Hold it. Does it tell me like, what's the map button again? Is there a way to see, like the map? Is it circuits? No. Someone tell me how to do the thing. Someone tell me how to map. Oh. Oh. Let's shift. Okay, so where am I at now? Pathway 1, pathway 2, and you go to pathway 3. The heck? Okay, I guess. I'm lost in the sauce for real. Pathway 3 and then Obelisk Lake. So Obelisk, Obelisk Lake is... Obelisk, where the hell is Obelisk Lake? Is it up there in the corner? <laughs> like, what? Okay, well that's weird. I don't know what Obelisk Lake is, but I'm definitely not there. But, you know, besides the child forgetting what time she was supposed to show up, you know, it's been surprising like that some of them did pretty well. So another kid got a perfect score, which I was proud of. Because, wow. It's a, it's a difficult thing to be able to talk about a passage for at the most 10 minutes, but that's a difficult thing to do, so good for them. But, I'm just in absolute awe. Oh, but yesterday, oh my goodness, yesterday I had the wildest experience. So I decided to go out with a friend, because, you know, it's good to go out with friends. And when I tell you she was wildin', she was wildin'. Like at one point, she had like a spoken word rendition of uh, Truth Hurts by Lizzo. She... Don't know why. Don't know why she had a, a spoken word. Granted, she was mad drunk, which is fine, but it was hilarious because I, of course, got it on camera. Because why not? Is this where the tree is? I think the tree is here. 
Yes, the tree is here. I'm, I'm, I'm where I need to be. Can we define this tree? From this, uh, this tree. And how do I get to it? That's the real question. It's not even a matter of. Oh, is it here? This is the tree, right? No. What the heck? Hmm. Anyway, she was drunk out of her mind. It was hilarious. I was. I was laughing at her at times, obviously, because that's what we're supposed to do. And then, of course, I messaged her this morning, asking if she was alive. Because she didn't look alive. Where the heck is this tree? It has to be somewhere. At one point, she was in the club, and she's on... Don't ask me why I was at the club, because I hate clubs. But at one point, she was literally on the floor. Why? I don't know. But she was there. Acting a whole fool. Where's this dang tree? Oh, this has to be it, right? Fruit salad, yummy yummy. Is this, is this tree the sick tree? Is this tree the sick tree? Where the heck is this dang tree, y'all? It's ones that are different colors, right? What I'm doing wrong. Oh, sh shiitake. Maybe it's over here. No. Oh, wait. Mm. And let me tell you, additionally, like, my stomach hurts so bad. I don't know why. I think I. Yes, I did it. Accident. Okay, now we need the obelisk one. So I think I'm allergic to eggs or something. We, my girlfriend and I went to First Watch and I got these uh, breakfast tacos that were really good. What the? That were really good, except of course, usually when I eat eggs, bad things happen to my stomach. And bad things are happening to my stomach. And I'm bothered by it. Oh, another one. Did it. Report back to Chief Woodkeeper Manzana in the Fruits of Autumn HQ. How do I do that? Teleport to entrance. Oh, jeez. It's hot. I don't cut my air conditioning on until like 8. Because, you know... Life's expensive out here in these streets. Really? Jesus. Fall Divers HQ. Okay, so I just need to go straight over, I guess. It's somewhere over here. Oh man, my stomach hurts so bad. Like, I'm out of it. Like, when I tell you I, I feel like I'm dying, I literally feel like I'm dying. Is it over here? This. I wish it showed me like my current like location. If I go one over, it's gonna be too far. Oh wait, it might be it up here. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, boy. Give me my monies. Ah, you are done. Wonderful. Your efforts should have quelled the threat to autumn's rise. You have our deepest thanks. May we continue to preserve the harmony on this world together. Would I get some apples, some fruit salad? Cool, another quest? Greetings, Sika. It is good to see you return to us. Hi! As it happens, the well-being of nature requires our attention once again. Another case of the sickness has been observed in Autumn's Rise, this time in a more intense form. What's yet has stricken a sacred tree that has been proven to be vital to the ecosystem of the entire area. I fear that healing it to be more arduous than with the other cases, but it must be done at all costs. So, can I ask you for your assistance once again? Level 13 can't do it. I'm gonna accept it anyway. 
Excellent, I will give you a cup filled with the highly concentrated salve made from the fruits of our gardens. With it, you can treat the disease just like before, but there are two vital differences. First, since the condition is more severe, the medication will take time to fully take effect. Also, the strong smell and taste of the salve will lure the creatures of the area towards it. Oh, great. Thus, after applying the salve, you will need to defend the tree until it is fully healed. I see you understand. Now, please be swift. I, I can't do it, though. What is this? Dead end. And the dead end in Southern Rookie Harbor. Southern Rookie Harbor. Okay, we can go do that. So back to the eggs. I have decided that me and eggs are just not gonna work. Because, like, when I tell you I'm, I'm dying, I'm genuinely dying. All because of some eggs. But I don't understand why I would be allergic to, like, eggs, you know? Like, it's eggs. Uh-huh. Oh, actual fruit! Oh. But you can touch them, though, right? Is that the guy? Is that the, is that the thief? Is that the thief? I think that might be the thief over there in the corner. It just say Southern Rookie Harbor, and this is Southern Harbor. I think I talked to this man before. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I don't know where this man could be. I'm so lost and confused. Lost and insecure. Because this man is nowhere to be found. Have y'all seen him? No? I haven't seen a, a man. Maybe he's like... Maybe he's like over here in the corner. Nope, he's not over here. Mm -hmm. Whoa, man, where's this guy? He's just like not... He's everywhere but where he's a... Nope, that's a captain. Leave me alone! That's a guy, so that's not who I'm searching for. I'm convinced he's just not here. He has to be- oh shoot. He has to be, like, up here somewhere. Right? Okay, hold on. In Southern Rookie Harbor. I look at Southern Rookie Harbor. Beginners are at Rookie Harbor. He can He has to be here somewhere. In a dead end. the guy but where's this man why is this happening to me oh it's like over there I think well how in the all things holy and sacred you propose I get over there there's a way and I'm gonna find it oh what was that that little that the little blip did you see that it was like right there I went over here and then it, it like just useless oh wait a second oh here we go I found this man you whore you again? 
Okay, I guess that's the end of the line then. It's really a shame. That you're so slow. Bye. Jesus. What a man. Can't open it yet? Later in the game. Stamp on your map. Jesus. Now what do I do? Where am I even located at? Oh. So I guess wherever I am it puts a little glyph there. Okay, who would know where this man went to? You. No? Who should I ask then? Oh, this guy. That mean scoundrel ran past here. You must have given him a solid spanking. Good job. So not satisfied. Well, he ran towards Autumn's Rise if you want to whip him some more. Find the thief in Autumn's Rise. Autumn rises this way! Oh, right? Autumn's Rise is this way. Wait. Yep, yeah, this way. Some have been told to tell more stories, in which case... If I had stories to tell, I would, you know? But I don't really have a lot of stories. But I guess I can tell more about my life, so in case you care, I was born in the lovely Baltimore, Maryland. Um, people now would consider Baltimore the hood, but I don't know, when I visit home, nothing seems crazy. Seems fairly normal, in my opinion. Like, people are fine. They don't mess with you, particularly. Just, mainly just mind your own business, more or less. Um, I went to school a little bit in Baltimore City until... Um, well... What grade would I say? Kindergarten? My mom is very much so into a good education, and upon realizing that the education wasn't as good, she, uh... Upon realizing it wasn't the best education, she transferred, made me transfer schools. And so we moved to the suburbs, because, you know, that's where typically better school systems can be found. And so I was typically in school with uh, mostly white people and Asians, which is fine. My best friend, Chu Young, is Korean, so we still talk, although we went to school in different locations. She's great, I love her. Um, school was generally fine, but nothing crazy happened. I was in the band because I'm a nerd. I've been playing clarinet since fifth grade, which is always exciting. I do, however, vividly remember um, assaulting a kid in 7th grade because he touched me inappropriately after I warned him not to. I say that to say, you know, sometimes you just gotta, you know, attack people and commit petty crimes to protect yourself. And that's okay. But also, don't touch people who don't want to be touched. Boy or girl, just leave them alone. Mind your business. That's how. That's how you survive. Just mind your business. Most things can be avoided if you just sit down and leave people alone. This the man. Honestly, I've forgotten what the guy even looks like. I don't even want to harass him anymore. I just want to just mind my own business. Like, why do I have to follow him? Oh, I went to an, I, an international baccalaureate school. So that's like the highest rigor of any high school-based programming. Was it hard for me? Not particularly. It just requires a lot of work and effort. Fortunately, the Maryland school system, at least in the suburbs in general, is very ahead of the curve, I would say, especially compared to the South. I don't know. Us Northerners are just smarter. That's the tree. Us Northerners are just smarter, in my opinion. Should that be an opinion I hold? Probably not, but I'm gonna hold it anyway, because... I don't know. 
this. That's what I believe. Yes, I'm messing with you. This girl. This girl Emily. Oh. This girl Emily as well. I don't like these little things with the, the, the what are they called? The headphone guys? The headphone guys be doing too much. Is that the dude? How the heck do you propose I get up there? Hmm. Oh, I see. Um, what other things about my life? I hate math. The burning passion, I was never good at it. If it has numbers, I'd probably ignore it. It's just not, it's just not for me. It requires a lot of thinking and work that I just don't. So, all the effort that I don't want to put into my life. Like, I know, but then at the same time, I'm kind of sad that I didn't, like, force myself to get into math because most jobs that use some type of math pay people a good amount of money. So, I kind of missed the ball on that one there. But it's okay, kind of. In high school, I never really wanted, knew what I wanted to be, what I wanted to do with my life. I was kind of just floating around. I thought I wanted to major in IT, and that's what I did when I got into college for a little bit. But, uh, it didn't stay that way. Uh, that sometimes you just uh, make bad choices. Sometimes, you know. Um, the only wild things I would say happened in high school was finding out or realizing that I like women. I was about like 15, and that really made life very stressful, especially when you grow up in, like, a religious household that isn't into stuff like that. But that's not the way in which you're supposed to live your life. And so for a good two years, like the rest of high school, I was trying to figure out my life and my belief systems and dragging myself out of a state of depression that lasted for so long. Because, like... My mother wasn't particularly nice about the situation. She's cool now. But it took a lot of time to get to that point. Here, I vividly remember like wanting to run away from home. So I was just like so sad that I wasn't accepted. Looking back on it, I'm just like meh. It was only a small part of life. Shoot. Only a small part of life in the grand scheme of things, so. Yeah, it sucks, but. There's always something that sucks in life. I can't do the little the thingy thing. Oh. My favorite class in high school was. Low-key Spanish. I don't know. English, I don't really like my English classes. My teachers are kind of meh. And by meh, I mean very meh. However, one of them, junior year, I mean, they weren't meh. They were alright. They could have been better. I learned a lot in the classes, though. But I, it's, so my one English teacher, he was married, had a whole wife and kid, had a very happy, like, life or whatever. And then I remember senior year, like, he was very sad and depressed for some odd reason, and no one knew why, and then we found out that his wife, like the baby, that the baby he had wasn't his baby, and like, naturally, that messes, that messes you up, like, you know, like, you're happy that you have this kid, and then you find out your wife's a hoe. And then your whole life's ruined. So poor guy, when I tell you he was depressed, he was depressed. Like, 
his whole life was just sad. As it should have been, because that's a depressing thing. Like, you think you have a whole family, and then next thing you know, it's like, just kidding. It's not yours. It's like, it's like Billy Jean not being your lover, except and but the, when the kid is really not your son, I'm like, crazy. Don't know how he was able to get through that. Yo, she's OP. I don't even think she realizes how OP she is. She out here just like wrecking people. I honestly don't even know what I'm doing in this part. I'm kind of just walking around and exploring. With that said, I'm going to end this right here and figure out what I need to do with my life. I'm kind of just roaming around with the maniac. Level 9? Oh, I'm in the wrong place. I should be level 9. What level am I right now? How do I check? I'm level 7. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get my life together. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with all of your friends. I'm trying to, like, find things to talk about as far as, like, stories. But I don't know. What, what would y'all like to hear about my experiences? Because, you know, the more the more I know, the more I can talk about, you know? But yeah, enjoy the rest of your evening or your day or your morning, depending on like what's going on in your life. Be the best you, you can be. Try to make good decisions. But uh, ultimately, all you can do in the day is stay saucy. Yeah.